hi guys you're welcome to my channel thank you for always stopping by and if you're new to my channel you're welcome please subscribe share and like my videos and also put on your notification bell to be notified when i upload new videos in today's tutorial i would like to show you how to make a corset with a bra cup in my previous video i explained how to use an interfacing to make a corset so this is one of the easiest method and as a beginner please make sure you understand how to draft a basic bodice so firstly you need to have a frame of the basic bodies so i used the pattern of the previous tutorial i did on how to draft a basic bodies to achieve this frame on the white paper so yeah i have the chest line the bust point the under bust point the waist line and the full length of the blouse and this is a shoulder line now since this isn't just a basic bodice but a blouse we have to curve the down parts of the blouse so where i have the full length i'll mark two inches at the vertical side and i'll mark four inches at the horizontal side as shown then i'll use a french curve to connect the points together now we have gotten the shape of the blouse the next step is to mark half an inch on the center of the fold i'll rule out the line with a width of half an inch the reason for ruling out this line is because there'll be a joining at the center of the front panel now the next step is to mark about one inch on the chest line starting from the half inches line you ruled out Once the center of the corset to be a bit down so it gives me a sweetheart shape placing my tape on the shoulder line to the chest line i have 8 inches but i would like to use 8.5 inches now extend the points to one inch so the one inch is the distance between the bra cup so the next step is to cover out the bra cup but before doing this make sure you get the exact measurements for the bra cup the bra Cup I use this 34 inches because the bust measurement of this client is 34 inches. Let us see, you can check the back of the bra cup for the size. Listen the cup on the pattern paper. Make sure that the tip of the other end is on the one inch line marked at the center of the fold. Placing the cup directly on the pattern paper will expose the bust. But in order to avoid that, you slant the cup a little bit, just like I did now. Making sure that the cup side close to the armhole is a bit higher than the center of the cup. And make sure that the curved edges of the bra cup sits directly on the under bust line. Since this is a two blouse, you place the tape on the bust point line to mark 2.5 inches above the line the next step is to trace out the bra cup which i'll then connect to the 2.5 inches i marked initially so i won't be joining the bra cup to the curve directly because in doing that it will reduce or affect the measurements so the best thing to do is to add half an inch seam allowance to the sides of the curve in which you use to attach the bra cup to the body of the blouse having done that the next step is to create the dart to do this you divide the bust pan by two inches and i have eight inches if i divide by two it's four inches so i'll place four inches starting from the half inch i marked in the center to mark on the under bust line the waist line and the hip line now i'll use the ruler to connect the points together on the under bust line i'll go down by one inch and on the waistline, I'll mark half an inch on both sides. The full length line, I'll mark three inches above the hip line.
Then I'll connect all points together. panel for the basic bodice pattern now i'll place the front pattern of the corset on the back panel then on the clam o line i'll roll a straight line as shown which i'll trim out After cutting out the back panel for the corset, the next step is to achieve the neckline. So I'll mark 1.5 inches on the zip allowance line. Then I'll connect the point to the arm O using a curved ruler. Step is to achieve the dart line. To do this, I'll mark the bust span measurements on the bust point line, the waist line, and on the hip line. Then I'll connect the points with a straight ruler. Here I'll mark one inch below the bust line, half an inch on both sides on the waist line, then three inches above the hip line. Then I'll connect the points together. This is all for the front and the back panel of the corset tube. The next step is on how to wrap the bra cup with the fabric. Each bra cups have different sizes and this is size 34. The sizes are usually crested at the back of the bra cup and it also has flat edges for joining. To properly wrap the bra cup, you need to take the measurement starting from one edge to the highest part of the bust down to the other edge. So here yeah, I have 7.5 inches. I'll be adding half inch to the measurement and that will be have the paper inches. folded into two which i'll further folding into two so i practically folded it into four so i marked eight inches for the bra cup which i'll divide into two and that will be four inches now i'll place it at this edge to mark four inches round as shown After cutting, this is what you should have folded into two. So you mark the center points as shown. Then you also mark one inch at both sides of the edges. Then you connect the points together. This is the shape you should have after cutting. So I'll place this on the fabric to cut out. So I'll fold the fabric into two and fold it further in into two. That will be folded into four. Now I'll place the template of the bra cup on the fabric to cut out. I 
after cutting you should have four pieces of this in which you use in wrapping the bra up to attach both curves together you place it this way on the right side of the fabric then you sew by half an inch that's when you notch the sides of the curved edges then you use the iron to open the seam so it's relaxed very flat on the cup when sewn Finally, place the fabric on the bra cup. You fold the bra cup into two, then you mark the center below. Now you measure four inches from the center marked. Depending on where you want the joining to begin. So I marked four inches. Now I'll place the fabric on the cup to pin the edges I marked. Making sure that while pinning I stretch out the fabric so it doesn't have excess fold. Pinning you should trim out the excess fabric at the edges. Before sewing, you should cut out the fabric for the front and the back panel. So this is for the front panel. I'll place this on the fabric, then I'll cut out. We are joining the middle of the front panel, so I'll open this up as shown. You can decide to trim out the dart or fold it while sewing. Obviously, I decided to trim it out, making sure that the trimming didn't get to the bra curve, so it doesn't reduce the bra curve size. So this is how the front panel should look like after cutting. For clarity, the half inch seam allowance I drew at the center of the front panel is what I'll use in joining the center of the fabric. So this is the panel for the back pattern which I already cut out on the fabric. Now I'll open up the zip allowance. For clarity, this is the zip allowance and this is the dart. To sew this blouse, you can decide to use a lining. It means you have to place all the patterns on the lining to cut out. But here, I'll be sewing without a lining. The first step is to place this pattern on the other pattern. Then you take this to the sewing machine to secure the center. After sewing by half an inch, now you open it up to secure the dots, which you sew by half an inch. Now I've secured the dots and I used an overlocking machine to weave the joining. The next step is to flip to the right side of the fabric to attach a bias tape on the three seams. The next step is to attach the bra cup to the body of the blouse. By marking the middle of the bra cup and attaching it at the center of the bra cup as shown.
Now I've attached the bra cup to the front of the blouse. So the next step is to secure the darts at the back of the blouse by sewing by half an inch. After securing the dart, the next step is to attach the bias tip on the seam. After attaching the bias on the seam line, the next step is to secure the neckline and the M line using a bias tip. You will also secure the neckline and the M line of the front spaniel using a bias tip. After securing the neckline and the M line for both panels, the next step is to attach a zipper on the back panel. We are almost done. Now I'll place the front panel on the back panel. The strap sleeve is 10 inches by 4 inches, so I'll sew by half inches after folding into two. Now I'll turn the sleeve to the right side of the lace. Now I'll fold the sleeve into two, then insert it in between the front and the back panel as shown. Now we are almost done. The next step is to place the tape on the blouse to mark the waistline. So I'll place the tape directly on the underbust. The underbust is 12 inches. So this will guide me in getting the waistline. So the waistline is 15 inches. Which I can mark the horizontal measurements, which is the bust circumference, the waist circumference, and the hip circumference. So the bust circumference, you divide it by four. And then you place it whatever you get you place it on the chest line for the waist circumference you divide by four whatever you get you place it on the waistline for the hip circumference you divide by four whatever you get you place it on the hip line Finally, you connect the points together as shown. Then you secure it with the sewing machine. Alright guys, thank you for watching. You should give it a try. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Nancy. Please subscribe, share and like my videos. And also put on your notification bell because we have a lot to learn together. Thank you.